The Alberta Progressive Conservatives may say they're against the carbon tax, but why then wasn't their key player, energy and environment critic Rick Fraser, in the legislature to vote on the second and third readings of the carbon tax bill? Here's the proof from Hansard documentation. On the second and third reading votes, Fraser was missing. But that didn't stop him from sending a mass email out asking for donations based on the premise of his opposition to the carbon tax. In fact, the subject line reads, Our decision to vote against Bill 20. Yeah, not quite. Fraser is clearly banking on the fact that people don't pay attention to deception in politics. And that's the reason that Albertans voted his party out in the first place. Same old, same old. The PCs vowed to fight the carbon tax, the biggest tax hike in the history of Alberta. But they're not. Rookie MLA Prob Gill, that caught a serious case of Trudeau mania, didn't show up for work for both days. But what can we expect? Justin Trudeau and the Liberals are all about the carbon tax. Actually, there are nine PC MLAs. On the second reading, only four showed up to vote. That's less than half of their caucus. On the third reading, five showed up, so just over half. The carbon tax is going to take some Albertan families from just getting by to deciding between paying bills or putting food on the table, which will, by the way, be that much more expensive after this tax is implemented. The NDP won't stop taxing us until our pockets are empty. And if the progressive conservatives can't show up in the legislature to fight for Albertans against tax hikes and shifty policies, they simply don't deserve another chance come next election. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.